Dog owners beware. That is the message being sent by the city of South Portland after a possibly toxic blue-green algae bloom was found in a popular park. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. The city's Parks and Recreation Department posted the warning this afternoon. And News Center Samantha York is here now with more information. Sam, this type of algae is blamed for a number of dog deaths around the country. Yeah, Pat, so the first reported incident that really sparked this um, looking of looking for the blue green algae happened a couple weeks ago in Texas, but since then people around the country have been on the lookout for this toxic sludge, including right here in Maine in our own backyard. So this photo, uh, well, it was supposed to be a photo, but the photo, the photo was posted by the South Portland, Portland Parks and Recs Department on their Facebook page there earlier is. today. There it is, perfect. So this was posted on their Facebook page earlier today. The bloom, and again, it's possibly toxic. That's the key word, possibly. It was found at Hinkley Park. Um, and the city says that the bloom could possibly produce the toxins, and they're asking people to stay clear of the water with their pets until this bloom has passed. So I took a ride myself over to see the water and sure enough, blue green algae covered the water under the park's bridges and other areas. So it might look harmless, but this stuff, which is also known as cyanobacteria, can do some serious damage. It's a water-based bacteria that grows quickly in warm waters, forming colorful blooms that look like foam or scum that stretches across the water surface. And it can be found really everywhere. Experts say it's not as prevalent here in Maine, but the consequences of coming across it are just as great, especially for pets. It can cause a rash, fever, or even sickness in humans. And in pets, in other animals, it can be downright fatal. So here are some of the symptoms that we're looking at. So it can include vomiting, diarrhea, weakness, difficulty, breathing, and seizures. And in worst cases, as we've mentioned, animals have died. So if your pets do experience these symptoms after exposure to the algae, contact your veterinarian. And Pat, when I spoke to a marine botanist a couple weeks ago when we were first kind of tackling these stories, he said that the symptoms in people are pretty similar to animals. So if you find yourself experiencing the same things, you should go to your doctors. They should be able to prescribe you something. But again, this was at Hinkley Park in South Portland. It's a possible toxic algae bloom, so but it's scary. For now, find someplace else to play. Exactly. Thank you, Sam. Thanks, Pat.